Absolutely. And what does it take for, I ask this to all the coaches, all right? What does it take for a guard to play at the D1 level? The first thing that I'm going to say, Corey, is you have to be an unbelievable leader and communicator. You know, I think at uh, at every level you have to have that, but I think especially at the Division One level, you have to be a, a great leader of 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 your troops out there, of your teammates, um, be able to weather the storm, and you have to be able to to do that. You have to be able to communicate at a really really high level. You have to be an extension of the head coach, you know. And um, the seasons are long, the practices are long, um, you know, the workouts are long, um, all those things. It's really really a grind. And so for you to be a, a guard at the division one level, I think that you have to be able to really uh, um, lead your team through all of those different varying parts of the season. In addition to that, uh, to be a guard at the division one level, I also think that you have to find the right fit. I think that you talk a lot about that uh, with your clients and on your podcast. It's like every division one program isn't going to want the same thing in whatever guard that they have. Right. So some guard, some programs might be OK with the smaller guard because they're going to play a certain way. You know, other players and other other programs, you might need to have, uh, you know, a size advantage. You know, some coaches might want skill where you can be a great passer facilitator. Other coaches might say we're going to play through our point guard and we need them to be a high volume scorer. Um, some coaches are like, OK, it's OK if you can't shoot. But other coaches are like I need you to be keep the defense honest, you know, and I think as our game evolves and in, tra in, in trans, you know, transitions into the future, I think that you are going to have to be more of a well-rounded player and be able to make, make shots at a high level and keep the defense honest. But I really think that, you know, to be a division one guard, ultimately it's about leadership and communication. And then from there, you have to find the right fit for whatever your skill set is. You know, if you're a great shooter, there's going to be programs you can go to. If you're, if you're a great defender, you know, 94 feet, there's, programs you can go to. Um, and I think that that's, you know, that's where the fit kind of comes in, in my opinion.